Hello friends and family. Do I have the best news ever? So we got a shout out on Troy Black. So I'd never heard about Troy because I have told you guys this so many times. I don't usually watch YouTube pastors or preachers or prophets or any of that. And there's a reason. And I tell you guys this all the time. I have a pastor that speaks into my life. I have given him permission to be my spiritual guider. I've also given that permission to my son and my son's pastor, Pastor Rodney Howard Brown in Tampa, Florida, which is why I'm going to Revival Wednesday through Sunday. Those are the only people I allow to speak into my spiritual life. And there's a reason for that because a lot of people are false. Now, from what I've seen with Troy, he seems to be the real deal. I'll tell you why. Because he truly listened to what I said on the video without making assumptions about what I was trying to say. And I greatly appreciate that because never once in the video is Donald Trump. This book says, you know, Donald Trump may be the last president. Did I actually claim that? In fact, I repeatedly said this is a fictional trilogy that I'm reading from. It is a book that was written and you have to decide, was this book written by a time traveler, a demon, an angel, whatever, or was this a Holy Spirit download to Lockwood, to Ingersoll Lockwood? Something else that a lot of people got very confused about, they assumed that I was saying that Donald Trump was going to end, you know, who's going to become some kind of dictator and the world was going to end. We were never going to have another president. I never said that. <laughs> Not once the entire reading of what I read from the book. So I truly appreciate another God-fearing Christian having the integrity to open his ears and actually listen to what I said. In fact, I thought it was a glowing report that he gave us, and here it is. So I'll let you guys hear. Let's hear you now. Okay, y'all can hear. Great. Um, so anyways, here we go. This 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 video, I, I believe, that uh, this is from Samantha from Starkey Farmstead. I believe she did a relatively good job of pre presenting the information and not jumping to too many wild conclusions. And in fact, I don't really think she jumped to any wild conclusions. I think she did a good job of showing the information, showing what's in uh, what's in that one book, The Last President, and just specifically saying, she said, says in this video, um, you know, listen to the Holy Spirit. What is he asking you to do? You know, and, and she doesn't necessarily say you have to believe this, you, ha you have to not believe it or whatever. Um, she more just gives the information. Now, I think she does a great job of, of kind of staying unbiased in this video. I haven't seen any of her other stuff, so I can't really speak about any of the rest of her channel. But I think I thought she did a pretty good job of presenting it in this video. Um, so I don't really have anything negative to say about it. Uh, more positive, I would say, from that perspective. But here's what I believe is happening is, and this is what I sense the Holy Spirit saying right now. So what I'm doing is I'm presenting a prophetic word. Listen, y'all even weigh this word and test it, pray about it, say, Holy Spirit. What are you saying to me about this? If this is something that, uh, you know, you've, you've believed 100% or you've run away from or whatever it is, um, whatever it may be, or maybe you didn't even know about it. If you didn't know about it, maybe I would say, maybe you don't even need to know about it, right? So ask the Lord, should I even watch this video or not? But, um, but I'm encouraging every person, listen to the Holy Spirit for yourself. So even take the word I'm about to share. This is something I heard God say, but, and I believe that 100% guesses and, and connecting dots apart from his spirit. And the Lord makes that very clear in what he says here. So I saw this thumbnail pop up on October 11th. And this is what I heard the Lord say. Now, I believe what he's addressing here is a, a not a conclusion that uh, Samantha even came to in that video. She doesn't even mention it, but rather it's, it's more, uh, you know, assumed by her title, but rather I believe it's a, a, it's a, a conclusion that some people have jumped to based on some of the things in these books. Okay. Maybe not you, but I believe some people have. The Lord said, this about Trump. He's as soon as I saw that thumbnail pop up, I heard the Holy Spirit say, he's not going to be the last president. And then he said, that is a rumor not started by me. This is what I heard the Holy Spirit say. He said, I did not speak yet. And yet people have connected dots where they're, uh, uh, that weren't there and run with it. And, and he said, and I'm setting the record straight. This is what I heard the Holy Spirit say. Now I'm presenting this to you as a prophetic word. Listen, my friend, you can disagree with me. You can even think that I didn't hear from God and we can still unite around the message of the gospel. This is the next thing I heard the Lord say. He said, he said, and he's talking to us as Christians when we, when we go, okay, 
God, is this a sign from you? If maybe we watched a video like this, you know, and or maybe we watched another one. And and personally, I feel like Samantha did a pretty good job of presenting the information, not jumping to conclusions, and reminding people to listen to the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I'm not I'm not trying to diss her at all, but I know there's other content out there where people have taken this to to an extreme view, you know, or said some very uh, strong things about this, and that and this is what and and so as Christians, we need to make sure, hey, we're listening to the Holy Spirit and we're actually praying and asking God. We're not running with stuff and we're not making assumptions. But I heard the Lord say this. He said, ask for confirmation before believing and running with something. Actually, I agree. Donald Trump is not going to be the last president of the United States, folks. Let me tell you something. The Bible clearly states that Jesus will come when nobody expects it. Right now, what do you see? Oh, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. So you can pretty much bet that he's not. So I am in total agreement with Troy. Folks, listen. I think a lot of what happens around books like this, the Ingersoll books, is the fact that people don't have a solid foundation with Jesus. Anything sways them. And the Bible warns about that repeatedly. I mean, like you're just swayed any which way. You're like a whirlwind. You are listening to mainstream media tell you that Donald Trump's the Antichrist. You're listening to Kamala Harris say he's going to destroy the democracy. And you just trip over yourself. You just trip over yourself, folks. Before you discuss any topic, you should always ask the Holy Spirit if that is what he wants you to talk about. Which is why when a lot of you ask me to cover topics, I never do. Because I didn't get told by the Holy Spirit to do it. You asked me. God didn't tell me to do it. A lot of topics are covered already. They don't need my two cents. I'm not going to find anything new than what 90% of the people out there are finding on that topic. So I just don't waste my time. Because if you're not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you each and every day and everything you do, everything you say, and everywhere you go, then you're going to find that your calendar is overloaded. You were wore out. Why do you think? So many of you have asked me, how do you do what you do? You do so much. You've written a book. You go and speak at different things. You go to homestead conferences. You run a two-acre farmstead. You have a house and a family that you care for. You see to the school. You run church ministries. Like, how do you get all of that done plus videos and you're the only moderator on your channel? Because, folks, I only do what the Holy Spirit tells me to. And I'm human. When I step out of what God has told me to do, I fall flat on my face. It ends up being like the worst decision of my life. A lot of times I just simply, if I'm not sure what the Holy Spirit's telling me and I'm human, that happens, I go talk to my husband. And if he says, no, I think that's a bad idea, I stay away from it because he's been put in a position to guide me. And even if your spouse is not saved, is not a follower of Jesus Christ and you are unyoked, He's still been put in a place of position over your family. And if your husband's telling you to do something that doesn't line up with the Bible, then you don't have to follow it. But if what your husband's telling you, you can't find in the Bible is wrong, then you're wrong for not listening. And I know that's an unpopular comment and an unpopular topic, but I'm just going to stick there. This is why my husband and I are happy because I know what position I play in my family. So I love you guys so much. I thought today this was such a blessing. The Bible tells us repeatedly that you will find favor amongst men, that he'll, he'll promote you. You don't have to promote yourself. And I'm just very thankful that this gentleman saw the video and realized that I wasn't saying any of what people in the comments kept saying, oh, Donald Trump's be the last president. This means the democracy's over. I was like, wow, how did anybody get anything from what I just read? How did they get that? And that tells me how far most people are from the Holy Spirit at this stage. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. We're a solid platform. And the one thing here, folks, is, well, I am going to tell you like I see it. Talk to you later.